Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Family Moments, where we use really cool object lessons that teach the truth about what matters most. Exactly. And today, we're going to have some fun with this. A hot dog? Don't tell me, this is part of our Dog Days of Summer series, featuring our newest co-host, Mona! Right you are! But, we're not supposed to feed her hot dogs. Um, I know we're not supposed to feed her hot dogs. Mom's gonna be furious if Mona eats that. I know. That's why we're not gonna Here, feed her- Here, give me that. Problem solved. What's for dessert? Ow, brother. Hey friends, Pastor Robbie here, along with my lovely assistant and wonderful daughter, Sadie. Hello. And our newest co-host, Mona. Hello. And today, we're going to continue our Dog Days of Summer series with a lesson on... Wait, wait. Weren't we going to feature a dog each week from one of our fans? Good point. For those who want to possibly have your dog featured on our show, send us their picture, their name, the kind of dog they are, and what city and state you live in. Email it to us at contact at familymomentsfun.com and we'll post it on our Facebook page and possibly share it on an upcoming episode. And so who are we going to feature today? Today we are featuring Benji the Terrier from Sydney, Australia. What a beautiful dog! Oh, but don't you worry, Mona. You're beautiful too. Yes, you're still our favorite. And today we're going to have some fun learning about... Obedience. Obedience? This kind of ties into our subject from last week on training. It does. It's all part of our Dog Days of Summer series. One question. What's that? What exactly are the Dog Days of Summer? Well, the phrase Dog Days of Summer is a reference to Sirius, the dog star. The dog star? Yes. Sirius is a part of the constellation Canis Major, the greater dog. In the summer, Sirius rises and sets with the sun, and it's the brightest star visible from any part of Earth. Sounds like an astronomy lesson. Well, the dog days of summer has become a cultural phrase that refers to the hottest, most sultry part of the summer from early July through early September. In fact, the word Sirius actually means scorching. Well, hot dog, I learned something new. What's all this got to do with our lesson? I thought Christians weren't supposed to mess with astronomy. Well, astronomy is the study of everything in the universe beyond the Earth's atmosphere, like the sun, the moon, the planets, the stars. God made all of those things, didn't he? He sure did. And those things are amazing. There's nothing wrong with studying astronomy. I think you're mixing astronomy up with astrology. Yeah, what's that? Well, astrology is when people look to the stars and the planets for answers to explain or predict life. Well, that's a little strange. I thought we were supposed to follow God, not stars. We are. It's okay to be in awe of God's creation, but we should follow Him, not the stars. Hence, the lesson on obedience. Interesting. If we make like a special dog treat to give Mona when she obeys, she should learn to follow us, not the treat. The treat might taste great, but it didn't create itself. We created it. Yeah, that makes sense. I like what it says in Philippians 2, 14 and 15. Do everything without grumbling or arguing so that you may become blameless and pure children of God without fault in a warped and crooked generation. Then you will shine among them like stars in the sky. So we're not only supposed to obey and follow the Lord, but we're supposed to not grumble or complain about it. Exactly. Let me demonstrate this for you with a little optic lesson I like to call Reach for the Stars. (laughs) And all we're going to need is a few hot dogs, some toothpicks, a raw egg, some cheese, a hot plate or frying pan, a regular plate, a knife, and a fork. Now let's pretend that you ask me what's for dinner tonight. What's for dinner tonight? Right. And I say with mom gone, I'm fixing hot dogs. And you're thinking, again? 
and you want to complain because you're tired of boring old hot dogs. But instead of grumbling, you decide to trust and obey that things are going to work out fine. And so I get to work by taking our hot dogs and cutting them in half like this. Then I'll use our knife to cut a slice in each one like this. Now I'll use a toothpick to separate the sides of each hot dog forming a Y or an A or a V, depending on how you're looking at it. Now watch as I place each piece on our hot plate or frying pan in the shape of a star. Cool! And once the star is kind of warmed up, we'll flip it over. And then we'll take our egg and crack it open and pour it inside the star and sprinkle a little cheese on top. Cool! And once the star is kind of warmed up, we'll flip it over. And once it's cooked up, I'll put it on a plate and voila, we've got something special. Oh man, that actually looks pretty good. Anyone can complain, but when we obey the Lord, we become blameless and pure children of God without fault in a warped and crooked generation. And we shine among them like stars in the sky. Exactly. Learning to obey without grumbling or complaining is a beautiful thing. So Sadie, what did you learn today? I learned that the dog days of summer is an astronomy phrase that refers to the dog star, or the hottest part of the summer. But we should be more interested in the real star, which is God, the creator of all things. Ooh, I like that. And we should not only obey God, but do it without grumbling or complaining, so that we can shine just like the stars he created. Very good. Now. All this talk about hot dogs got me to thinking that I haven't been doing a good job of sharing with you lately, as I've been the only one eating all the hot dogs, so I made an extra one, just for you. Oh gee, you didn't have to do that. Well, that's the least I could do. Um, looks like you forgot the ketchup though. Oh, I didn't forget it. I just couldn't get it to come out of the bottle. Wow, oh, it's probably plugged at the top there. You might need to use like a knife or something to unclog that. Either that, or I could just squeeze the bottle really hard, like this. Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm, maybe I should have used a knife. You think so? <laughs> Would you like some mustard too? We'll see you around. Today's episode is sponsored by our good friends Randy and Nicole at Oodles of Blessings. Oodles of Blessings? Hey, that's where we got Mona! That's right. This Christian-based business breeds beautiful English cream golden retrievers and doodle puppies. Like Bernadoodles, Sheepadoodles, Labadoodles, and Golden Doodles? Exactly. Their puppies come from healthy lines of parents with great temperaments. They are the perfect fit for families looking for a healthy, happy, adorable addition to their family. No wonder they're called Oodles of Blessings. You can find out more by checking out their website, oodlesofblessings.com, or by calling 260-466-8735, and they'll transport their puppies anywhere in the continental United States. I love it. And if you'd like to possibly sponsor an episode or a series of Family Moment episodes, just drop us an email at contact at familymomentsfun.com. We'd love to talk to you about the possibility of partnering with us as we teach the truth about what matters most. <laughs> <laughs>